So here's a question from William S. I want to install Kali Linux for penetration testing on my computer, but still be able to run Windows. Should I dual boot my PC or run Kali as a live CD USB? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> Eli, Eli, should I eat strawberry or ice cream or butternut pecan? I just... I just don't know which flavor ice cream I should eat. Tell me, Eli, strawberry or butternut pecan? Or, ooh, maybe chocolate. Maybe I should eat some chocolate, right? Um, oh, uh, I mean, it really depends on what you're doing. Um, honestly, if it was me, if, if I'm just doing testing, 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 legal testing, um, on systems I'm authorized to hit, preferably ones that I own, and I'm not doing anything asininely stupid, right? We're not doing anything asininely stupid. Please tell me we're not. Um, right, I would probably honestly just throw it in a virtual machine, right? Again, if, if we're not... Oh, if we're not worried about being tracked and we're not worried about keeping compromising information uh, accidentally stored on our computer that might get us arrested and all that kind of stuff, why not just use VirtualBox and throw it into a, a virtual machine? Um, I think that would be your best bet because then you could actually have Windows open. Uh, you use the NAT setting or whatever setting you want to use. You can sit there, you can play around with Kali, do all the stuff you need to do, and when you're done, you can just close it out. Or you can save it, you know, where, you know, save state, so exactly where it's at, and you can kind of just freeze it. Um, that seems like a hell of a lot better idea to, to me, right? Um, because, I mean, you know, Kali Linux, the, the big thing about... Um, uh, dual booting. So dual booting is essentially where you partition the hard drive on your computer and then you can either boot into Windows or you can boot into Kali. Uh, the, the reason that was very useful, very useful, 10 years ago, uh, was because uh, the hardware we were using was pretty bad, right? You know, it wasn't that long ago that having one gig of RAM on your computer, brand new, was pretty normal. Um, and so basically with a dual boot configuration, what that meant is that when you booted into whatever operating system you're going to use, that operating system had full utilization of the resources. Again, you do virtualization when you got four gigs of RAM or eight gigs of RAM or 16 gigs of RAM. Who cares? Doesn't really matter. Uh, your computer, unless you're doing something fancy, is going to work around fine. <laughs> when you try to do virtualization running one gig of RAM, ooh, boys, <laughs> ooh, boys, that's, that's yeah, no, no, that, that's, no, you don't want to do that, right? Um, so that's why people used to do dual booting. Um, so I would argue, for the most part nowadays, I would stay away from dual booting. I mean, as with all things, there are situational reasons to do it. I'm not sure what they are anymore, to be honest with you, especially the, the cost of hard drives. You know, hard drives used to be so uh, so expensive, you would partition a, a hard drive. But honestly, like, I have this, uh, this IC doc um, little enclosure thing where you can swap out hard drives very easily. Honestly, nowadays, if I had a computer, hard drives are so inexpensive, why bother doing a, a, a dual boot uh, drive? Why not just have one drive that has Kali on it and one drive that has Windows on it and one drive that has something else? Then, the, the reason for that is then you don't have to worry about corruptions and stuff. You don't worry, have to worry about leakage. You don't have to worry about the antivirus that you installed on the, the Windows side uh, deciding to scan the other partition and screwing something up or vice versa. Uh, so I really don't believe in dual boot anymore. I really don't believe in dual boot. If I was going to do the equivalent of dual boot, I would just buy or grab, and there's enough hard drives out there now, I just grab another hard drive, literally pull my Windows hard drive out, put it to the side, plug in the new Kali hard drive, do what I need to do, pull that out, and away you go. Um, again, as far as we go, uh, you know, that's the, for dual boot, and as far as a live CD or USB goes, I mean... Again, I guess you could. I, I wouldn't. Uh, again, you're not... Uh, you know, if I was going... <laughs> here's where, like, the Kali live CD or live USB, here's where you use it in the real world, is what you do is you walk into an office that you plan to compromise, you go to a computer that nobody else is using, that they own, their own computer, you boot up Kali, do all, do all of your attacks from their own effing computer. 
pull out the, you know pull out the disc and whatever you grab and walk out the door so that when they go back uh, if they do have a, some kind of security system or if they do do a security audit basically it all tracks back to their own computer and that's a real pain in the butt right so that's really why you would use like a, a live CD or live disc is literally you, it's when you're compromising the target from inside the target's own facility that's great uh, but otherwise again you're dealing with Blow times, you're dealing with I.O. performance, and in 2015, 16, I, I don't see how that makes a, a, makes a lot of sense. So I would argue, get VirtualBox, load it into a virtual machine, and go from there. If you don't like VirtualBox, go for VMware Fusion. Well, no, you're on Windows. Uh, I don't know, go with something else. Uh, I would do virtualization. Uh, first, I would do virtualization. Second, I would actually do an entire other hard drive. Um, third, I'm not sure what my third would be, but it wouldn't be either of these two options. That's what I would do. Take it, leave it, and that's my thought.